this is massive. Well, that is a lot of warnings. Uh, I'm probably gonna need a lot of my graphics for this. Wow, this looks good. The game is running at like the holy. Look how many warnings there are. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Stormworks video. In today's episode, we are going to be checking out this massive botanic model for the 105th botanic sinking anniversary. That's right. If you're watching this, exactly when it comes out, the Britannic hit a mine and started sinking 105 years ago. Exactly. We're going to have a tour around the ship and hopefully not hit any mines. Okay, we're going to hit a mine. Anyway, we should just start now. This huge Britannic model was made by a person called Z Quan 12 not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So we're going to go into here, I guess, first. I haven't actually explored this before. Let's press all the buttons and hope it doesn't lag. You know, I'd actually be interested to see what this looks like. Okay, this is a bit more laggy. But I'm interested to see what this would look like at night. Let's fast forward to night time. Alrighty, uh, the lights actually look really good. Uh, I don't have much time to record this and that time lapse took 15 minutes to record and I even sped up the day night cycle so uh, I don't think it was a waste of time. Anyway, uh, we should probably start exploring the ship now because there is so much to explore. I want to be able to find like the grand staircase. Oh. Oh, these are the elevators, except they're just ladders. And a nice grand staircase. Do remember that the Britannic was a sister ship of the Titanic. And it was going to be a passenger ship, just like the Titanic. But then World War I occurred, and that got turned into a medical ship. That's why there's always boxes around. I can't find it, but... There should be a bunch of hospital beds somewhere, would be my assumption. There might not be anything. I don't think there's an engine room on the ship, because I just started the ship through the bridge. Ah, there's all these pathways and stuff I want to explore, but there is no way I'm going to be able to explore all of this in time. This is just an incredible amount. I see there's a proper door, not one of these fake doors, so... Let's see what this leads. Oh yeah, a nice... lounge, and then we've got another staircase. Not the grand staircase. But a nice staircase and the elevator? Yep, that's an elevator. Explore. Alright, so what's over here? Ah, this is the stern of the ship. I think. Yeah, looks like it. So here we've got, I don't know what that is. It's like cranes, I think. Let's make our way back to the bridge in this really cool scenic view across the ship. But I'm just imagining how long this uh, took to create. Like, this is a massive model. You think I've walked through a decent amount? I've probably only walked through about 5 or 10%, maybe less of the ship. I've walked through like one of the main parts, the Grand Staircase, but not much else. I think I've only been on D Deck, not E Deck, C Deck, B Deck, A Deck, 
half of the promenade, no, 90% of the promenade. Wow. So I think I'm going to go and have a rest. Alrighty, that sleep was good. Ah, it looks to be a nice morning out. That's fantastic. Gonna take a look over the ship. Well, I sh uh, there's nothing, or well, no targets in the way. No, sorry, no targets, no land in the way. So we should be fine on that front. Just look how cool this is. Looking out in the distance, I don't see any, like, U-boats or anything. Whoa, Willis to God, whoa. Jesus. I just felt like a big rumble through the ship. Uh, what the heck was that? Oh, no. I'm going to have to order full stop of the engines. Stop the engines. Uh, go, 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 go. Alright, engines should be stopping. I've told the engineers to stop that. Uh... Uh, come on, come on. Uh, we don't need all these lights on, do we? What on earth? Oh no, we want the exit lights on. We need to contact the engineers to hear if there's any damage. Uh, we also need to shut the watertight compartments. Oh, that would be very good. Engine workers, uh, please give me the, a damage report. I am going to lock the watertight compartments, so you probably should get out of there, and one of you needs to come up and tell me if you see any water, and if there's no water, uh, we'll go back out and resume running. Thank you. Alright, I've given a message. It Probably isn't that clear, and I've also started doing the water tank apartments while we're listing more. Wow, that is a strong list. Ah, I'm even struggling just to walk up the deck. Alright, uh, it looks like we are sinking. Even if they come up and say there's no water, something is wrong. Uh, we're going to need to start launching lifeboats, and I'm going to have to be the last to leave. Oh no. I told her to go down like Captain Smith. Come on. Alright, the gantries are swinging over. Whoa! Oh, I would not want to be a passenger in there. Oh my. Uh, I'm going to just... Oh wait, we can't release these. Uh, I'm going to climb up on the gantries and release it myself. No one's ever said that this was a bad idea. Right? Uh-oh. No, I'm falling in the gaps of the gantry. Oh. Oh, my. Kids, don't try this at home. <laughs> Wait. Uh, don't try this if you're on a ship the size of the Britannic. Detach. Wow, everything's in slow motion, like, no! Alright. Uh, now I have to get to the other side. So, oh, that's not good. Um, well, it's a good that no one was on there, because, ouch. <laughs> that would have hurt. I mean, we're a medical ship, but... No one's going to go back in and go, Alright, let's give you medical treatment. Don't mind the water. Boat released. Alright, we're just going to have to release these all. And then people can get in. Alright, go, go, go. Wait, I should start releasing them on the other side. Because soon it's not going to be... Those ones aren't going to be able to be deployed. In fact, it might already be too late. I should probably start running. Oh, no. I don't think I can release these ones now. Well, I might as well quick release... Oh, no. If I quick release them, then they're going to smash on the deck. Potentially break. Break, like, these windows and stuff. I think I'll do that at the very end. 
Uh, just to note, if you would like to see more of these sinking anniversary videos, um, be sure to like, subscribe if you're not already, and comment down below. I know you guys definitely enjoyed the Oceana sinking video, and I didn't even edit that properly. I'm kind of ashamed of the editing on that. So, but anyway, if you'd like to see more of these anniversary type videos, uh, tell me, and I probably will do them, but of course only on the anniversaries of the ships sinking, like for example, the Titanic video would only be on April the 14th of any given year. Release locks. Deploy. Down. Ah, oh, that's cool. The Britannic is continuing to sink at a rapid pace. The bow is starting to go under. Lifeboats that have been deployed, unknown to the captain, are all upside down and are going to get crushed. And still, he's desperately trying to attempt to let a boat go. I think I'm just going to have to release it. And hope it floats up. Uh, I have to get on the gantries though. And it wasn't a pleasant experience last time. This is chaos. There's just stuff everywhere. Normally this would be a nice pleasant experience to navigate. This splendid ship. But now it, it's just a fight for survival. Running around with now it seems needlessly amount of objects in the way. Objects that would normally not have concerned you in the slightest. Valise falls. Whoa! Yeah, uh... Still not going there. I think the angle is too severe for more boats to be deployed. Alright, we're going to the other side. Oh, but now it's going to be... Uh, let's just go. We have to deploy every lifeboat we could possibly think of deploying. As long as they're not super glued to the ground. Who decided to super glue lifeboats to the ground? What design was that? Ah, uh, just a note. It was anti-lag design. Oh, these gantry ones actually have hope of being deployed. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, whoa. That would have ended a disaster. Oh, it's a swinging pendulum. Run! Go, go, go! Release more lifeboats! No! Ah, this lifeboat doesn't seem to have much hope to. I think I'm just going to have to release it up there and it'll float up. Whoa, this is not a fun angle to be on. No! I've been caught on another lifeboat. If I can get the other one of these to deploy, then we might be able to use one of these at the end. Or maybe some of the most wounded passengers of them all would be able to do it because they're not going to be in good enough to condition. We just want to hop down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! Is this the end? Falling off a shoe. <gasps> oh, oh, I'm alive. Oh, the devastation. The lifeboat. They're all tipped. But this is like the Titanic. The curse of the Titanic continues. First in 1912, now it's 1916. This part of the ship is now underwater. I need to deploy these. I can deploy them. No, they are deployed. They're trapped. Oh my. This water is a bit cold. You know, we're quite north off the coast of Ireland. We could have gone to sail towards that. Okay, I think I'm in a section that's underwater. Wait, that's really dangerous. I need to escape. Go, go, go. 
I need to get out of here. On the bow? No, I think it's sinking bow first. There's the telegraph boom, which means Ford should be the bridge. Whoa! I'm being pushed forward in the chart room. Uh, here. Oh, that's not good. Uh, we can't go out of there. That's too much water. Up here. Oh, the angle. It's too steep. Oh, no. That doesn't look good. And indeed, it is not good. This is the state the ship is in. The bow is almost completely submerged, except for this triangle of hope. A, a, and a rectangle. Over on this side is now completely out of the water, aside from this little bit here. Wait, hold on. I, I can get these lifeboats right here. I was going to do it at the start of the sinking, and I don't know a better time, because it's not going to get better than this. It's really bad already. There's not much more I could do. Whoa, whoa, oh no, I've fallen in this area. Oh, whoa, it's rapidly sinking. I need to get to there. Wait, I think there's another lifeboat I could get to. Whoa, the water is rushing up fast. Fun, we must outchase the water. Is there a solution through the store? That could be my saviour? Nope, that is not my saviour, that's just more water. I thought there might be just easier hallway, but I guess I can't get any easier than this. Whoa, look how fast it's going. Don't worry, that door wasn't watertight anyway. Botanic is completing its final plunge. There's no hope. Except we could try in our desperate attempt to survive and get maybe those two lifeboats. That might be too late. Ah! The water! It's cold. I'd just like to say thank you guys for 100 subscribers. It's a pretty big achievement. But I think I'm going to sign this video off for today. I hope you enjoyed the Botanic Sinking Anniversary. And I'll see you in the next one. Good. Bye.